Who are you and what do you study? Uh, I'm Nico Limatanen and I study cybersecurity for, and I'm starting my third year next semester. You're here in Vimalab for the second time. What made you apply again? I applied again for this year's Vimalab because I think this is such a unique learning opportunity that is not normally offered to us young students. And I thought the last year's uh, Vima was great, so I came here to finish my mandatory internships. Uh, and I also uh, think this is such a uh, safe environment for practicing these uh, working life uh, procedures and protocols that are used, uh, because the, uh, this kind of project is more fault tolerant than a uh, uh, say a company that has to make a product and uh, earn money from it and where the failures are uh, much more uh, impactful than in these kind of projects. How is this year different from last year? Oh, many things, many things. Uh, uh, first of all, last year I didn't know anybody at the lab when I started, so it was quite hard for me at the beginning because it, I, need to I needed to make new contacts and maybe some new friends so that I could work better as, as the group. Mm, but this year I knew almost nearly half of the uh, lab, lab students so it was quite easy to get, get to working with these people and also get to know other people via the, by the people I've already known. Um, this year also the management is quite different because we, uh, f I think we focus more strictly on the Scrum Band model and uh, the uh, methods of ag agile development. So, or at least in my perspective, I think last year wasn't that strict compared to this year's uh, how we follow the uh, procedures of these things we've, we are doing. <laughs> What do you do in Vimalab? Uh, I'm currently a, a junior developer for Overflow uh, and that <laughs> for me that means I've been for the first half of this uh, Vimalab I've been kind of this jack of all trades. Uh, first I did documentation and uh, requirement specification uh, like most of our team but after that uh, I mostly did some odd jobs uh, installing Raspberry Pi operating systems and maybe making some virtual machines or something like that. And I also helped uh, my team members and my team members with their problems and uh, other teams members with their problems as best as I could. But uh, the, sec the later half has been I have been more focusing focusing on scripting. I've been writing Python scripts for our uh, usage rate functionality on the Modica. What have you learned in Vimalab? Many things. Um, so many things I can't quite get them out of my head right now. But uh, teamwork mostly. Last year I learned about teamwork and this year I learned about teamwork because uh, these are two different teams. So you learn new things when you are working in a new team. So. Yeah, and uh, may, f small technical things like uh, more things, how to do things efficient, more efficiently with Linux and uh, some programming tidbits here and there. And also uh, to work better in these uh, agile projects and uh, how to properly make issues and uh, focus on the sprints and, some, and stuff like that. What kind of assignments would you like to work with in the future? Mm, that is quite problematic for me because uh, I like to do many things. I uh, I like to do networking and I like to do programming. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what I really want. If I want to focus on either of those or if I would want to be some kind of specialist who can sometimes code and sometimes do networking. I think it depends on the future what kind of positions are available uh, and I think that's 
for me it can be a good thing that I'm quite flexible so I can do many things. If you could change the team you work in for one day, which one would it be and why? Mm, it ha definitely, it would definitely have to be Attitude, because their software project, uh, Virtual Friend, is, it's, it's, I think it's a cr great uh, project, and it's a, su such an, there is so many things, so many layers on the project that it would be really interesting to contribute to that project, and get to understand it more deeply.